Yo, what's up, internet? Um, I just figured out uh, something that came to me while I was watching a documentary. Um, it hit me. This is why we don't want governments to be in charge of healthcare, right? Um, if you have a government that goes tyrannical at some point and they're in charge of healthcare, they don't have to kill you as a dissident, right? Here's what happens. You're in a protest or you're in a speech and they have some patsy throw a rock at you and you're injured or, or trip you or shoot you in the leg or, or something, hit you with a bat. So everyone can say, oh, some attacker came and hit this guy with a bat or whatever. And then they take you to the hospital and then someone comes in and puts something in you, an injection or whatever, and you're done. And then the autopsy report is done by a guy at the hospital that's, you know, part of the CIA or whatever. And he says, uh, you know, died during treatment, during surgery. During a procedure, people really have a block on this idea that the government, and I don't mean the current government, I'm not saying necessarily the current government, it may be, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure of anything like that, I'm just speaking in general. You look at what happened during World War II with Nazi Germany, that's a fine example, and there's plenty of other governments, uh, Mao, China, um... The list goes on. There's a number of places. Uh, the Cambodia, Cambodia has had a genocide, I believe. Um, that sounds right. Listen, if you give your government the power of health and wellness, you give them the power of sickness and ill as well. This goes for the same type of thinking of giving government the last say on what foods, drugs, and etc. get to be in circulation. We're horribly misguided as people in that we think that we want one central organization to have the authority uh, or monopoly on these decisions. When we really stop and think about it, guys, we want big decisions made by consensus. That's initially what democracy is supposed to achieve is consensus. So when you have a population and they want to um, deliberate on a certain topic, Voting was thought of as a means to achieve a consensus. Unfortunately, the vote collector has the final say. The person collecting the vote and tallying the vote has a final say. And the person that hires that person has a more final say. And on and on up the chain. So voting is a horribly inefficient way until it is done by something agnostic, such as a blockchain. For those of you familiar with Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies or cryptography, um, it's no surprise that major governments around the world are fighting, including Hillary Clinton, fighting to ban and make encryption illegal because it's a, it's a hardware based code, uh, method of encoding information that any citizen can do. If you research PGP encryption, look that up. Um, it's something you could be doing within minutes and sending messages to anyone around the world to where only that person theoretically could be able to decode it with their matching key to unlock that message. So you don't want to give the state any government um, or any monopoly. You wouldn't want there to be one healthcare company left or one doctor's office in the entire country. Um, we don't want one organization deciding uh, our health or wellness or food or medicine. We want to have many bodies that can peer review and test substances and have those bodies be rated by their track record over years and years. The longer we wait as a society to start to offset these um, political and social um, use, uses that are being done by the state onto a decentralized, people-focused, and agnostic, um, powered, diffuse um, governing body that is that is done decentralized through something unbiased like encryption or um, a blockchain. Until that day, until that time arrives, we'll be subject to whoever collects the vote. We'll be subject to whoever has the last mile between um, the supposed democracy and the enforcement of the law. So with that thought, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for considering these ideas. And as always, thank you for your feedback. I'll uh, try to respond to everything I do see in the comments. And um, I really do want to know what you think on this. All right. Take care.